Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm F Newt and welcome to F News Cross-Dressing Lifestyle. And in this uh, video, this is part two in our cross-dressing story series. In a, in a story that I previously uploaded called Cross-Dressing with my friend at work. Obviously, uh, if you guys go to the upper right hand corner, you could get uh, you could listen to the first part. I recommend listening to the first part, guys, before you listen to this one. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it enough to want to listen to the second part. So, like I said, this story was between a couple of work partners, uh, work a um, couple of people that work with each other who have a secret affection for each other and have been wanting to get with each other. So we'll see where this goes in part two as Robina is very close to kind of wanting to let Jordan know about his feelings for her. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to be back to wrap it up and I'll be back. Let's play the intro. Me and Jordan, my name is Robina, and Jordan has been someone that I've been into. She works with me in a medical lab, like we said in the first part, and Robina has been somebody who I've definitely been attracted to for a very long time. We've known each other for nine years now, and I've noticed that Jordan is also into me, but because of our situations, we haven't been strong enough to let each other know about our feelings. So... We ended up, uh, we usually go out a lot. We go out together a lot. And sometimes um, I have been wanting to cross dress and stuff like that. And so recently I've actually shared my cross dressing secret with Jordan. Jordan has now seen me as a cross dresser. Now, it did catch her by surprise at first. But because she's a very supportive friend and a very nice woman, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, Jordan actually thought it was kind of cute that, you know, I was into wearing feminine clothing and stuff like that. And it brought us actually much closer because she was so into my lifestyle that I was keeping secret all this time. And we started to shop together. We started to uh, shop for new clothes that I can wear when we go out or anything like that. Now, I ha now at work at the medical lab, I haven't come out to, you know, wearing feminine clothing at the job. Now, I have no desire to do that, but Jordan has been kind of in my ear to start doing it, but she understood that if I did not want to do it, that she wasn't going to continue to push me on it and stuff like that. So to this day, I still never actually went into the lab uh, cross-dressed or whatever like that. And like I said, I just have no desire to do it at the workplace. But I have, you know, continued to cross-dress in public on my own time and stuff like that. And me and Jordan have actually uh, cross-dressed, you know, uh, I've cross-dressed while I was with her shopping and stuff like that during the weekends. Whenever we have time off or going to the restaurant to eat something, I have done it with her already. Now, there was a uh, sort of a party uh, that was taking place um, with some people that we knew, and it was a kind of a leather slash like uh, leather lingerie type party. And we were supposed to wear either like lingerie to this party or we were supposed to wear some type of leather outfit or latex outfit, PVC type of outfit. So me and Jordan were planning over what outfits we were going to wear for this party. And me and Jordan uh, pretty much started going shopping. So the first thing we did was we went to Victoria's Secret and... I still was not sure what I wanted to wear, but Jordan was kind of sure that she wanted to wear some type of lingerie type outfit or whatever. She just didn't know just yet what she wanted to wear. We ran into some tights that 
we saw that we thought could look magnificent with our outfits. Um, and we decided to buy them. And she bought some, and she bought some for me. She said, "No, I got you, uh, uh, Robina. I will buy uh, tights for the both of us." So we were going to wear tights to the party. Robina found this like uh, super sexy uh, little black silky dress that could look like a little bit of a nightgown. It had no straps to it though. And it was a very small dress, but she was going to wear that to the party with some with some heels. We got we actually went to a shoe store and we got the same the same heels. Through this point, we still did not know exactly what I was going to wear, since it was a leather and lingerie type occasion. We decided that I was going to wear maybe a PVC or a latex type dress. So that's what I ended up doing. We ended up shopping online and I found the perfect mini black latex dress. And I was going to wear this with the outfit. And uh, I, I actually, I wore it with a corset to the party. And we were so excited about this party because it was something very kinky, but it was also something fun that we hadn't yet do, done with each other as much as we gone out we haven't done anything this kinky yet and i felt like we were both looking forward to it we were just really enjoying our lives i mean we were a little bit older than someone in their 20s and 30s doing this type of stuff but we were just very excited to do some things in our lives that maybe we didn't get a chance to do before and we were having a chance to enjoy it together so the day of the party rolls around we're getting ready and we're getting ready to go there. So Jordan actually picked me up from my place and she drove me to the party and we got down to it. We had an amazing, amazing time with our friends. It was an amazing party. People were looking so good and delicious at this party. It was extremely fun. One of the probably the best party I've ever been to. It was just so many people were open and feeling free. It felt like people were just feeling free. And I think that's the thing that I got the most from this particular party. And it was great. So, the time has come, though. So, it was getting late at night. And me and Robina, I mean, me and uh, Jordan had a little uh, conversation with each other about some things. And we were just having fun. We were a little bit tipsy, a little bit drunk here. Um... As we were drinking a lot at this party, but uh, uh, Jordan did not um, drive. Obviously, um, she decided we decided to get ourselves an Uber, and she actually spent the night at my place. She said, "Let's go over to your place, and I'll spend the night there." So we didn't have to work the next day, so we were going to go ahead and just sleep in for the next day. So we got home. And we were just kind of like still having fun. We weren't ready to go to sleep yet. We weren't sleepy yet. Um, we were just still having a little bit of fun. It was just the both of us. Our friends had already left us. And it was just the two of us. But for the first time since I was with Jordan, things were feeling a lot more different than they did before. And I was starting to have this feeling that I didn't feel before. And it was quite interesting. Me and her actually danced a little bit. I turned to I turned some music on and we danced a little bit. Then things got serious as we looked into each other's eyes. Guys, I'm gonna have to leave you there. There's gonna be a part three to this story. Gotta drop the cliffhanger on you guys there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this story. Uh, it's starting to heat up now between Robina and Jordan. And we'll see what the outcome of this 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 uh, romantic dance is. We'll see what happens with it. Uh, obviously, you know, between these two, they're starting to pick up the pace. They're starting to pick up the affection in the room. The signals are out, and they're in a they're in a, a definite romantic moment. We'll see what happens. If you guys love this story, go on ahead and give this video a like. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. Any comments y'all got on this story? If you want to see part three or any, like, what do you, 
What do you like about it? Definitely post it in the comments. And if you guys want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below, guys. It's the uh, thanks button. It's the, it's the heart symbol next to the thanks button with the dollar sign in the middle. You can donate there. If you have Cash App, you can also donate to the Cash App. I have the Cash App on the screen right now. It is dollar sign, sack exchange. You can send any donation there at any price that you want to. And I much appreciate it, you guys, if you do donate there. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this story. I hope to put up more of these cross jersey stories. We actually got another one still up on the channel. I have not done a follow-up to it yet, a part two. Uh, hopefully that'll get released here in the next few weeks. Uh, but definitely go check that one out. Um, as I hope to have part two up. And I got some other uh, ladies also doing some stories in the future. So definitely check those out. Also check out our cross-dressing slideshow series. We have, uh, we're getting close to the 10th edition, the 10th volume. So definitely check that out. And also check out my beautiful ladies on the channel in their vlogs. Definitely check that out. Uh, some of the ones that I've been uploading lately have been picking up some serious heat on the view count. Definitely check out my uh, girls Gab and Mahala and Janet. Also check out uh, check out Gala, one of our newest girls on the channel. Check out Gala. Uh, check out Darvana. Now Darvana has uh, actually been putting up some some content. Uh, Elisa is going to put up a new video for us. I did lose a couple of girls that will, will no longer be modeling on the channel. Uh, Yulana is one of them, and I believe the other one, uh, the other one is Olga. She's not going to be posting videos anymore. But the other girls are still in line to post videos. I hope to still be working with some of the ones I, I haven't worked with in maybe a month now. But uh, we will be sharing the content. And we have a new channel, guys, as well. Um, it's it's a ha it's a half cross-dressing channel and half beautiful girls channel. Uh, it is called Aces Angels. I want you guys to check that out and sub up to the channel. We will start putting more and more content on that channel. Uh, so definitely check that out as well, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I'll see you in part three. Thank you guys for watching. F Newt's Cross-Dressing Lifestyle.